Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we talked about the uh, Western Digital solid-state drives that were affected by a bug that um, actually blue-screened Windows 11 24H2. And um, as um, you know, I always say a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, you know, it shows how 24H2 is buggy." It, it isn't. It's not a. It's not a Windows bug. It's it's a it's a Western Digital SSD bug. And uh, they have actually issued firmware to fix it. So if you are in the uh, Western digital world of SSD and get a blue screen, uh, here's the drives that are affected right now. Uh, so the Western, uh, the WD Black SN770, SN770M, uh, all NVMEs, SN580, SN5000, and the uh, SanDisk Extreme M2. NVMe, uh, in case you didn't know, Western Digital has purchased SanDisk. And so if you are uh, using one of these, you are at risk of a blue screen on your PC. So um, this is um, the, uh, the problem. So uh, you can actually just use the... Um, the uh, firmware update on this page, all the details are here on how to uh, install the firmware. And you can uh, just uh, follow the um, different options uh, that are available here. So this firmware also, for those of you, because now 24H2 is blocked on of all of these machines. Once you will have uh, flashed the firmware for your solid state drive, the 24H2 operating system will unlock and will probably be visible again if you had it visible or will show up at some point. So um, I, it says here, Western Digital, Digital highly recommends updating the firmware. So once you install the firmware for your drives, it is going to be okay. So I'll share the link to this page in the description below. Do update your Western Digital drives so that uh, things are better. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.